What's going on guys and gals, DJBT, I'm here bringing you guys a brand new video today. It's a little late, it's not going to be a movie review Monday, it's going to be a Tuesday movie review. Um, I didn't get a chance to uh, record this video before, but uh, I went and saw The Avengers, so that's what this whole movie review is going to be on. I went and saw it twice over the weekend. Uh, we saw it Thursday on, on the day before it came out, it's worldwide release on Friday, I guess. Um, so we went the day before on Thursday, and then we also went Sunday night. Um, so we got a chance to see it twice. We saw it at uh, AVX, which is Canada's, like, I've heard, like, T-Rex, ETX. Um, it's just, like, a bigger theater. It's a much bigger screen, wide rocker seats, stuff like that. Um, it's similar to IMAX, but not as good of an experience is what they say. Um, we also saw it at IMAX on Sunday night. Um, to be honest, not much of a difference. Um, with IMAX, the trailer was a little bit different. They did put in um, a Tomorrowland trailer, which is an exclusive, like, probably five-minute peak of trailer of Tomorrowland, so that was kind of cool. Um, the sound was a lot louder at IMAX than it was at AVX. Um, 3D looked the same. Quality of the movie looked the same, to be honest. Um, the movie was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, I personally think it was a little bit better than than the first Avengers. Um, a little bit different storyline. Um, you kind of already know everybody, and it's, you don't really have to get the formalities of finding everybody and all that stuff. Um, it's just everybody's kind of into it. Um, I did notice um, right off the bat that the story does revolve around different people. Uh, the movie does not revolve around um, the same people as it did in the first Avengers. I'm not going to say any spoilers or anything, but you know, the movie does revolve around different people, um, which was kind of neat to see different people that you weren't really expecting to follow the story with. Um, uh, for instance, Thor doesn't have as big as a part in this movie. Um, a lot of the bigger name characters don't have a big of part. Um, they kind of focused on the secondary characters, which aren't really secondary characters. They're still main characters in the movie. Um that have kind of these backgrounds and all these things you're learning about them which is pretty cool um it was a nice change of pace from people that don't have full-blown movies i thought that was a cool idea the people that have full-blown movies and their own solo movies didn't focus on them they focused on the guys that don't um so black widow the hulk um these other guys that don't have these big big roles um i thought they did the twins really well um wanda and petrov um the maximoff twins um, I thought they did really good with them. I thought they were kind of cool. Um, uh, yeah, they were both really well, um, well done. Ultron, it was, it was a good, I liked how they, how they did Ultron. Um, I like how it's kind of like this Iron Man-esque robot. Um, they didn't make him sound too human. They didn't make him sound very robot -y. It was kind of like a cyborg android, which is really good. Uh, Vision is in the movie, but you guys have already seen that. Um, Vision is very well played. Um, his character is always very... He's got an awkward character. It's a very kind of back character, and it's not very in your face. It's not who that character is, but I thought Vision was very well done. Um, I don't really say want to say what happens in the movie. Um, the ending was expected, um, but not expected. There was a certain part in the movie where you weren't expecting that really to happen. Uh, the running jokes are really good in this movie. I thought that was really well done. Um, you did see something at the beginning of the movie that kept on throughout the whole movie, and it was. I thought that was kind of fun, just having these different, different jokes throughout the whole movie that you you understood. It wasn't re referencing from different movies. It was referencing from the same point of movie, um, which was I thought was a really good idea. Instead of having things from like the from Captain America or, or kind of jokes coming into there. It's nothing really. It's something that you can follow. There's two running jokes throughout the whole movie. So I thought that was really well well thought out and well done. Um, other than that, action sequence, there's not too much action. Um, the I'd say that with the first scene of the movie opening up with a big action scene, but uh, it wasn't as much action. It was kind of some backstory with some action thrown in. Uh, the end, you always have that end fight battle in every movie. Um, that had that had some really good action scenes in it, some pretty cool, pretty cool moments. Um, didn't really look too CGI-ish, which was really nice. It seemed like it was actually kind of part of the movie, and that's how they filmed it. So that was, was that was a really nice touch. It didn't seem like it was really too much After Effects, which probably was, but that's a good thing. Um, other than that, the storyline was very well thought out. Um, it definitely sets up for the next two Avengers movies that come out in 2018 and 2019 with the Infinity War, Infinity Wars. Um, it kind of lays the lays the stones. 
kind of lay, lays the stones for um, the next movie. Uh, hopefully, you guys got that little bit of a hint. But I thought it was very well done. I thought it was a sorry, my nose is quite itchy. We're in my Spider Man shirt. Hopefully, Spider Man's in the next Avengers movie. Um, we'll see. Uh, the ending does kind of leave open for lots of different things to happen. Um, whether some Avengers will come back, some Avengers will go away. Um, we'll see. I'm really excited to see what what happens with the next Avengers movie. Um, there's a lot of Marvel movies before that, though, so I'm excited for that. There's Ant-Man at the end of this year, and that's it for Marvel. And then next year, I think there's seven superhero movies between DC and Marvel. So that's always exciting. Hopefully but hopefully you guys have been enjoying the videos. Let me know about the movie reviews. Sorry, my nose is killing me. I don't know what's going on. It's super itchy right now. Ugh. Ugh. I'm not sick, but it's just really itchy. It feels like something's in there. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, hit that comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, total out of this movie, I would give it... Oh, I don't know. I'm going to probably give it a, a 9 out of 10 stones. Um, 9 out of 10 stones, I thought it was a really well done movie for a comic book movie. Definitely one of the better comic book movies I've seen in a while. Um, I really enjoy it. Um, I like the balance between story and comedy, and they definitely took it to the next level. Level How I kind of said it to people that I was talking to and kind of explaining the movie to. Um, the way that the Avengers had these jokes and these comedic aspects of it, um, the way that they bumped it up with Guardians of the Galaxy and how funny Guardians of the Galaxy was, they took the next step they took the next progression in the avengers which was really well i thought that was really well well thought out but that's all for today like i said this has been your friendly neighborhood ggbtm like i said avengers age of ultron gets a whopping a nine out of ten for me personally i really enjoyed it after seeing it twice um but that's all for today let me know what you guys thought of it in the comment section down below maybe i'll do a spoiler review if you guys want that as well but that's all for today this has been your friendly neighborhood ggbtm we'll see you guys again that's all for today